Hello and welcome to your extended reading for the new beginnings. This is a new beginning for me and it's also going to be a new beginning for you. So I'll go ahead and get started. Um, if you're finding this because you've watched the overall video, then some of the graphics here will be familiar to you. And let me fix this here. And behind me, I have a couple paintings that um, I did a long time ago, symbolizing left brain, right brain. And you know, this kind of like flip that happens in the body, how the right brain controls the left side and the right side and the left brain are connected, you know? So we have these interesting um, polarities that are a theme in my work and then a theme in my readings. So if this is resonating with you, we're going to dive in a little bit deeper with those, um, with those, th those in particular. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is a uh, not scripted. I'm just going to go through and and read the cards. But before we get um, too far into it, I do spend time at the beginning pulling cards for each sign, and I've um, kind of like printed them out here. And there's a map, which I'll put up uh, here next to it. So I wanted to say that overall, because we all have every sign, um, these, these themes are important um, for the new beginning. So we have the Lover's card times three for the Major Arcana. And it was the only card that repeated three times, and it happens to be the Major Arcana. Sometimes the lovers is considered choice, and because this reading is about choosing, you know, how you want to look at things and um, how our words and our thoughts matter, I think especially in this case for you as you are contemplating a new beginning, um, just think about how much that is emphasized for everyone throughout this reading as, uh, as an influence in making new beginnings. We're choosing <laughs> to make a new beginning. It happens um, not because we're expecting it to, because we take action in order for that to happen. We also have the Queen of Swords repeated twice, which is the element of um, air, and the Four of Wands repeated twice, the element of fire, and air and earth are heavily dominant so this is just a little bit of overall energy before we get into your specific reading to orient us on the map. <laughs> so there's a north, south, east, and west, and then also the elements, and then the 12 different zodiac signs, and your reading is going to be focusing on your particular zodiac sign. So let's get to it, okay? Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to your extended reading. Today I'm going to be using the Black Cat's Tarot, a new deck, to be pulling a few more cards to look into your, um, let's see, we got the Six of Cups and the Ten of Wands popping out. I'm going to put these back in the deck and keep shuffling, but... So I see victory and you see mistakes. I see victory and you see mistakes. To me, this sounds like uh, maybe you're dealing with someone that is a constant, constantly nitpicking or complaining, or you're constantly nitpicking and complaining, or someone who is the opposite, where they're kind of like a... Um, they're always a Pollyanna. Everything's fine. It's going to be great. And they refuse to acknowledge that there are mistakes and there are going to be consequences. So where do you fall on this scale? And how do you discern between being too critical and always noticing mistakes? Like, and maybe not noticing the victories? Let's pull some more cards for this question. Let's 
Sagittarius, you've got fire energy here. Traveling, worldliness. You might have like a larger uh, goal in mind in terms of your vision, you know? Um, that's what's coming to mind in terms of victory and success. Kind of depends on what your scope is. So we'll choose one for the victory, one for the mistakes, one wild card in the middle, and then we'll see what's at the, the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck is the Five of Swords. So this is definitely conflict in the sense of like arguments and um, people talking at each other, disagreements. So yeah, we have the disagreement. Was it a victory or is it a mistake? arguing between these two different things. That's kind of at the core of your reading. In regards to the victory, there is the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands in regards to victory might be somebody who has a passion for what they want to manifest in the world and simply having the vision or having the direction of where they want to go or or even having some sense of clarity about what's coming to them, um, that's enough. That is victorious. So it has not yet arrived. Um, it hasn't been fully manifested. It hasn't been fully experienced. But simply being in the state of clarity about what you want and bringing it to you and expecting it to come to you is the victory. And then in the mistakes, we have the... The Empress. The Empress is a major arcana card. Coincidentally, they're both the number three. So if you are, um, <laughs> if you're, if you're into numerology like me and you like these types of coincidences, which I do, I would say that this is just really funny because we're talking about, you know, like polarities and yet there's a similarity when you have a three and a three on both sides. So the Empress is about, you know, abundance. She's um, often depicted as um, being pregnant and very earthy, like of earth. Um, yeah. So I guess that would be to say that if someone is more into ideas and passion and vision, of things that haven't been haven't been manifested that could easily be seen as conflict for someone who's very uh, grounded that likes to hold things and feel things and touch them. So knowing where you're going is definitely not the same as holding it in your arms. You know the difference between saying like you want to have a family and having a family. You know and perhaps. There is a source of conflict between those two things, even though with the two threes, they kind of both want the same thing. <laughs> so it's kind of an interesting um, reading for you. And then the card in the center, this is the, um, I think this is the King of Wands. I'm not, yeah, this is the King of Wands. And he's holding up a, a rose that he's created. So the King of Wands is, um, let me just double check, because there's symbols, and like I said, it's the first time I've ever used this, uh, this deck. So I will just double check. I'm not sure they even actually have pictures to explain what they are. They don't. They don't have the pictures to explain what they are. So, so, um, yes. I'm pretty sure this is the king. I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> there was a pause there. So I'm wondering, 
you know, whenever I, I do that in a video, and I very feel like, oh, I gotta take a, a moment and double check this, I do end up relating it to the reading a little bit regarding the situation, um, because uh, there might be that sense of like double checking or not being totally sure, and that goes back to the Three of Wands energy. So having that confidence of what you want and what's coming in is really important. So when you're unsure, when you're double checking, you don't have that sense of confidence. That's not good, you know? Um, so having confidence is important and there is a sense of victory in achieving that. So I like that as an overall card. The King of Wands is also a very confident, um, fiery energy. So you've got the Six of Wands, the King of Wands, the Three of Wands. There's a lot of fire energy, which makes sense for Sagittarius. The fire is creative, um, passionate. And then with the Empress there, also creative um, in terms of manifesting things. With the Seven of Pentacles, you know, being protective with the Lovers card, um, emphasizing sensuality and also choice and embodiment of things. I think that whatever it is that you are seeking to achieve um, in terms of being victorious, the pathway to success would be to make sure you um, have that sense of confidence, like you know you want it, you know what you want wants you, it's coming towards you, you're bringing it in, um, to feel like you have... Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So even when you see mistakes, you know, don't let it uh, catch you up too much. Just keep going. Don't engage too much in that um, that conflict between the two things. See the similarities that you are actually on the same page and um, get back to creating the beautiful thing that you're creating. I hope this message was helpful for you. If it was, let me know down below in the comments. Your comments could help someone else too. And um, yeah, I hope to see you next week. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go back to the main one and maybe pick a different sign. Maybe that story would be more helpful for you. Thanks for listening.